Right, this is gonna be a quick video on how to target a race, what training you need to do, what fitness and freshness you wanna turn up to the race at, and just generally how to figure out if you wanna have like an A priority race, you wanna win it, what are you gonna do? So my A priority race is Bristol South Road Race, um, which is this one here from 2018. Um, you can see A8 kilometers, 1,300 meters of climbing. It's a cat three, four, so it's like pretty chill, not too hard, not a nap B with like a lot of hitters, so it should be good. Um, so first of all, it's just like, figure out what type of race it is. Um, so for me, the ones I'm gonna target obviously are gonna be climbing races because I'm good at that. Um, but yeah, so you look straight away and tr figure out what are the features of this course, very rolling, couple big climbs, uh, or you know, what sort of, the, what are the climbs like? So you can see straight away, that the main climb here is about three minutes long, two to three minutes long, um, but it's quite draggy afterwards. You then sort of have a rest, another little kick up, um, descent, and then sort of rolling again. So generally you're thinking, well, where's, where's the decisive parts of this race gonna go, um, gonna happen? Um, and that will be on the climb. So realistically, you've got to think, what type of rider are you? So let's say if you were a sprinter, um, then realistically in this race, you've got to think, I, I really need to improve my climbing. I need to be able to hang on for that three minutes. But let's say if you are better on the climbs, you might be more like, well, I know I'm going to get around the climbs. Actually, I need to work on my sprint or I need to work on like the surges, not necessarily climbing at like whatever watts it will be. Um, so again, you can see here, like it's a pretty savage race. Um, so 460 watts for one minute 12. Um, but and the normalized pa well, strava weight is 277, so I recognize normalized would be you know close to 300 watts, maybe maybe not quite that. Uh, for three hours, uh, for sorry, two and a half hours, and um, he weighs about 62 kilos or so, so a little less than five watts per kilo. Um, I would recommend which would be the what the um, the normalized. Uh, but anyway, so you can look here, you can see where it's hard, where it's not, the heart rate and stuff. So you can see from here onwards, the race definitely picked up or not i'm not actually sure how the race did um harry won the race but um, i'll ask him to try and figure it out um but generally what you can see is there's a consistent sort of climbing this segment called hill rub so 300 watts and pretty chill um 375 so that you know it's starting to get a bit harder 330 chill 376 330 but again if you look at this um what's really more important and I would say than anything else is that the surges, so you can see it's pretty easy at the beginning. And then there's just this bit here where it's sort of like 470 watts for a minute. And that's really where you're going to make it um, up this steep part. It goes around a corner. Um, it's 9% gradient, so the drafting is not really going to be much. Um, and then sort of over the top, I think this is the other thing. Over the top, it's not as easy as people think. You're still doing, okay, maybe 233 is quite chill. But, you know, that it's, oh, sorry, 300 watts for this 1 minute 38 over the top of the hill. And that's where you've got to think, well, I'm going to get dropped. So for me, I'm thinking, all right, I need to get better at VO2 max intervals and I need to get better at sort of 30, 15s, really surgy efforts. So I'm used to that. Um, and obviously just race condition. So first I'm just going to talk about general conditioning and then we'll talk about more race specific conditioning, um, which, you know, is harder to get. So anyway, um, we'll, we'll go from December, um, I, no, sorry, January. Um, but generally this is more just like general base. Um, so I'm at uni normally, but I finished, well, sorry, I didn't have any exams or anything over January. Um, so I came back from holiday and just basically banged out fat a number of hours. So 12 hour week, 19 hour week. And as you can see, this is all just threshold sort of, um, threshold bit of tempo, but yeah, pretty much just threshold the whole time or in, uh, endurance ride. So again here, um, started to do a bit of race intensity here, um, just to see, you know, how the legs are going or whatever. Some people don't like to do that, but you can see this is a classic, like four, four hours, 20, uh, 230 TSS and, you know, a solid, um, 48 minutes at threshold, which is what we want. Um, so that was good. And then here again, you can see sort of close to five hours, um, 252 TSS, this is some tempo efforts. So you can see what I'm doing. I'm just trying to increase my FTP, increase my endurance, um, because I have the time, and this was a, this is a fat sweet 25 hour week, and that really did ruin me. But yeah, uh, anyway, next week was good, just in recovery ride. I slightly fucked this up, to be honest, like it wasn't ideal. And then this one, um, I just didn't really sleep enough and just wasn't really feeling it. Maybe I did go a bit hard, considering I wasn't really sleeping much, um, slash going out a lot, which wasn't ideal. Um, but anyway, like, so my fitness would have went to up to 90 and then went down to 75. But then after that, it was a lot better. So this week, again, you can see I start to do more 20-minute efforts for my TT bike because I am racing TT, so, you know, that's the threshold is still going to be there. But what I started to do, as you can see here, is these six-minute intervals. Um, and this was really trying to 
on here you see the sort of effort from like the bottom of the hill to the very top is like a six minute effort more or less so i was thinking you know that's what i want to start off and then i'll get even more specific so there's only 283 watts but if we round off a little bit you can see like 340 for four minutes so that's basically what i did so you can see the wattage i was doing um here so six minutes 343 30 seconds at 392 watts and like that was that last little kick really hurt so I started getting some bo2 max um and then racing so i'm now going to talk about racing but i will we'll go back so the reason why it's really important to do race is before your main priority race is just that surges that it's about i reckon a 10 to 15 second surge in a criterium um which really like is hard to replicate it's those like really s short punchy surges out um and you'll see what i mean here like what the wattage is just it just really like sort of comes up and um it's that ability to turn on the gas and off the gas which in training is impossible to replicate and you'll see pro cyclists talk about it the whole time um they'll just say like you know i don't have that race re top top and sort of race form um but you'll see sort of a minute of 520 watts normalized or like four 70 like you're not going to do that in training um sorry 405 normal uh just normal and also trying to get 293 weighted average power for, uh, sorry not 293 normal for 40 minutes again that is hard to replicate in training so it's really important to do race intervals and then tts just help you generally for suffering and they also good training um the next week again i was ill this week which is really annoying i did a couple efforts on my tt bike that day and then i just couldn't i really couldn't like i was just it got to the point where I was like, well, there's no point in making my worse, myself worse. Then I did a TT here and it was okay. Um, but again, this is the whole six minute intervals um, start. So if my week had been perfect, I would have then done six minute intervals and I would have really tried to boost that VO2 max, which is what I was trying to do. And then this week I started to do some 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. Um, I actually turned these into 30 15s and these were incredibly horrible. Um, I did these at an average power of about 340 watts for... Um, just a little under eight minutes um, and each 30 second interval was more 390 to 400 watts and um, that was really got good threshold and good uh, vo2 max but it also practiced my surging um, and then I also did a TT there I had a race here and I did another TT so it was um it was a solid weekend so you can see here another um 311 watts normal 310 watts normalized so again you're not really going to get that in training um, and definitely my leg speed and sort of race conditioning was getting better um, and then I've just started this week doing on to some three minute intervals and these were really, really horrible. Um, generally, I it was a real struggle to complete them all. I didn't complete them all how they were set out to be because I just needed more rest. Um, but the, yeah, I was doing th these three minute intervals um, at sort of 390 watts, um, which was, yeah, you know, not very nice. Um, so 388 for the first one, then 388. Then this one I just couldn't do, um, which is a bit annoying. But um. You know, it was um, yeah, it was it was a tough day out. But this is what I'm trying to say is that you've got to figure out what is. What is your race? The race is gonna be three minute intervals. You've got to do that, and then I had some VO two max efforts today again. Thirty fifteens, um, did the trick, and then this weekend I would wanted to race. I wanted to do a three hour road race, but I didn't get in unfortunately. Actually, I don't think I even applied because I was being an idiot. Um, but anyway, these will just be really big TSS days to just really try and get the fitness. And then we'll freshen up this week. I'm doing do an FTP test, but you'll see I, I go to the gym normally on Monday. So basically day off bike there and do an hour um, FTP test Wednesday. But I reckon I might move that onto Thursday. Um, I'm, I'm not sure. I, I'm going to decide and I'll do some VO2 max efforts. Um, but these will be like probably I'll do three three minute intervals. They'll be further apart and they'll be real high intensity. Um, just as you know, make sure you don't lose any fitness. And then we'll come in with form of about minus two, which is be ideal. Um, for the Bristol South Road Race and hopefully we'll get a good result. So that's sort of to recap all that. I know I've spoken for quite a long time now. Um, the main thing is race intensity, build from threshold, figure out what you need. Is it a sprint? Is it a 10 minute effort? 30 second effort? Whatever that is. Anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you did enjoy and I'll see you in the next one.